Okay, so now uh, today we are here with Joel, and he is the head electrician at our company. So today I'm going to talk about a tip for those that have um, battery systems. Um, obviously, when you have a power cut, all the electricity on, on the UPS, this is our UPS panel. So these breakers control things that when you have a power cut, the power from the battery will go to only these breakers. That's what we call the UPS. And that's some air condition and, thing, and some sockets. But let's say that you have a situation where you have workers in the house and you are drilling, you are using cutters and maybe even uh, other more heavy machinery. So you want all sockets to come off the grid. So why would you want that? Well, because on the UPS, there is a limitation on this system of 3.3 kilowatt per phase. So let's say that the worker puts on um, a, a machine that takes more than that, the system will overload. But to avoid that, and that's what this video is about, we can change the UPS, the, that's, no, that's the ATS that controls where the power is coming from to the UPS breakers. So this is called ATS, this is a UPS. So ATS, that is an automatic transfer switch. So when we when we do that, uh, what we are going to do now, we're going to switch the power to the this panel from battery to the grid. That's what we're going to do. So draw call, uh, call play on. So we switch that to manual. And, um, so the key there is that this switch is switched from automatic to manual if not you can't do what he did you can't turn that uh, key um, turn the handle that's the whole key so now all the power is coming from the grid when we are using these things which is really good if you have special things going on in the house okay and then if you want to go back to normal functioning uh, you just uh, you can press draw and then you saw that because he switched to automatic it, this one came by itself it moved uh, by itself and that's what it does in automatic mode but when we switch from battery to the grid we have to turn off this we have to turn it to manual so but when you turn it back to normal mode we can turn it to automatic again and it switches by itself okay so, so that's it. That's a little tip for you if you have a lot of uh, heavy work uh, at the house and you have a battery system.